Hi there, uh, welcome to our fourth video. Uh, for those of you who watched our last video, uh, it was on our modification for adding a RV functional wine rack. So if you didn't see that, we'll add a link here to uh, down below, I guess, to get back to that video so you can have a look. This uh, video is about what we did to the other side of the island. Uh, we promised you last time uh, obviously the wine rack is uh, is on the living room side of the island and uh, we added something to the other side. So this is uh, one of the things we're going to show you what we did. As you know in an RV, uh, storage is a premium. Um, although we've got a fair amount of cupboards and you know spots to stash stuff in, in, in this fifth wheel, uh, we just had a real tough time with tall bottles. Um, you know, tall juice containers, uh, the taller liquor bottles, the just things that were tall. We didn't really have a great spot to uh, to put anything like that. So uh, when we did or, or decided we wanted to put something on our other side of the island, that's the first thing that came to mind is something for those taller bottles. Um, but before we go and have a look at it um, and, and show you what we did, let's talk a little bit about what we've been doing uh, recently to prepare our trailer for this season. We've, um, I guess we've been working on it as I do every year, generally in March, because we usually head out early April. I, uh, we usually have a, a great big uh, honey to-do list or yeah. a to-do list that... Uh, from the previous seasons of things that we wanted to accomplish. Yeah, last year you had a big to-do list because you built all the modifications last year. Yeah, this we, year is not so bad. This year wasn't as bad. Um, on the to-do list for this year, um, which I mentioned in our last video too, were the auto drain valves. So uh, that was one thing that probably took the longest. Um, but and you we, said it was a horrible job. It was a terrible job. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it's, I mean, normally for a lot of RVs, it, if they're not, you know, set up like ours they might be a lot easier um, my problem was where our two gray water valves they were really tight and uh, of course with the auto drain you have to allow a little bit of room for the motors so i had to do some modifications to the auto drain valves themselves in order to make it work um, and it was just tight quarters um, we have uh, the full heated underbelly with the plastic um, bottom to it that uh, first of all you know you got to get all that out of the way you got to get the insulation and the uh, the foil wrap all neatly put away and uh, or out of your way and then uh, anyway that was a big job but uh, it took up a fair bit of time the other thing that was on the list for this year were we had four dining chairs um, and in those dining chairs the seats lift up for more storage we generally like to store a lot of our, some of our paperwork, our, you know, campsite maps. Yeah, um, like pens and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, just stationary things. Yeah. We, But um, we started storing a little too much in them. <laughs> yeah, oops. So <laughs> what, uh, what ends up happening if you put too much in there, and of course you sit on them, the, uh, the bottoms to those chairs are just stapled on. They're, it's, it's. It's like a real, like, a, it's a trailer built thing. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, not they're built they almost look like they're put on with your average home stapler. Yeah. There's not much to them. So that was the other thing on the list was to redo the bottom of those chairs and, and re-secure them so uh, that that doesn't happen anymore. Um, and, of course, we're going to probably pay a little more attention to how much stuff we put in there. But if that happens to you, um, they are certainly repairable. Yeah. I just pulled them out, pulled all the staples out. I went and got some PL Premium adhesive caulking and actually permanently glued them back in there. They're good and solid now. So that was the other one of the other things on the list. Um, the other thing that really bothers me, and this is not a shot at Forest River or you know any manufacturer for that matter. They're all the same. Um, the fender skirts uh, all around the trailer, um, they're not supported well. Uh, I can, you know, look in my rear view mirror when we're driving down the road and I can see, you know, one of the skirts, you know, slowly vibrating. Um, and that, you know, that causes things to fatigue and crack. And uh, just about every RV, when we go to the RV shows, it's kind of something I look at. And none of them are done super well. No. So uh, 
this weekend I took the time and uh, put in some proper supports uh, to support all of our fenders so they're not flopping around in the breeze and the wind and and uh, you know uh, creating damage to themselves so mm -hmm. uh, maybe we'll throw in a few photos uh, as well as as what I did I'm, I didn't take any video under there but uh, I, I used some 3 16 flat steel plate and, and bent them up and uh, screwed them to um, I guess the uh, the channels that are there with some self-drilling screws and I'll take some I'll, I'll show you some photos and now they're nice and sturdy and uh, we shouldn't have any more fenders. flapping in the wind yeah, <laughs> flapping in the wind right so uh, that was the other thing that uh, that I did this weekend and um, what else was on the list for this year um... we wanted to do something with our oven um, oh, right. Yeah. I guess one of the the things that we notice, and, and I'm sure you all have, is uh, when you're cooking with the, the propane ovens, the, the heat's not really uniform. No. There's a lot of heat comes right up the center uh, above the burner and not so even on the, on the edges. And um, I've read or, or, you know, people have said that, uh, you know, if you put in a, a pizza stone, that, that would help considerably. But the trick was to find... A stone that actually fit in there that was rectangle that actually covered the whole bottom without it moving around and jumping and around. And wasn't over a hundred dollars. Yeah, and that wasn't expensive. super expensive. So we managed to find one on Amazon. It actually fits perfectly. Uh, ours is a, a suburban range. It actually fits perfectly over that. It actually slides in snug and uh, won't bounce around so maybe we'll throw a photo of uh, what that looks like too and yeah. we're hoping that's going to help i know it's not going to fix everything but at least maybe it'll help uh yeah with we'll some try of it those. out this year and yeah we'll try that let out. you guys know yeah so uh anyway um i guess that's kind of some of the stuff we've been doing this year that was probably the yeah. the bigger items last year we did uh, like i said a lot more yeah. stuff uh, we had, you know, sagging bed issues and all of those kind of mm. things. But these are upcoming things we'll show you anyway. Um, so anyway, let's uh, let's go and have a look at the what we did to the other side of the island that uh, you've okay. probably been waiting for. So we'll okay, um, so anyway, here's what we ended up doing for the, uh, as we mentioned, for the large juice containers. Is we just didn't have anywhere nice and tall. To, uh, to put our tall bottles. I don't have any bottles because we're not living in this just yet, but we can put up to uh, 60 ounce liquor bottles, you know, big juice bottles, things that are tall. And, uh, and then I put uh, some really good class because it is, uh, you know, if you ever hit the brakes or something, you don't want them flying back out. They're all on slides and they uh, snap in nice and uh, solid. And a second one down here. So uh, we're able to store a lot more taller bottles and it uh, certainly uh, fits our needs for a spot that we couldn't find for these things. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed the uh, the tour of the other side of the island with the drawers that we added. And uh, I guess next, uh, next one we're going to do another mod for you next video. And the mod's going to be on some uh, the cup holders that we, we built. Um, I don't know if how many of you have fifth wheels with lazy boy recliners but the uh we didn't really think of this when we bought the trailer but uh when we got it home we we kind of both sat in our, our lazy boy recliners and realized quickly that we had nowhere to set a drink no nope. not a spot anywhere nope. handy to set a drink so uh at that point we kind of looked at each other and going geez maybe we should have got the uh the theater seating that has the cup holders. Uh, however, we really like the lazy boys. They're super comfortable. So, yeah, uh, all, all that spiked an idea. So, uh, we did go ahead and build a cup holder. And we'll show you what we did. And uh, I know there's a lot of you out there that probably have the exact same problem. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, uh, hey, if you liked what you saw today on the video, you can um, give us thumbs up, like it. And uh, also, if you have any questions, you can comment and we'll get right back to you. And uh, if you want to see more videos in the future, subscribe. And, um, oh yeah, and always, um, if you'd like to see what we're doing for an income on the road uh, when we do start full-time RVing, 
I will put a link below for you. Great. Yeah. So uh, that wraps it up for, for this one. And uh, we'll see you on the next RV mod and preparing for full-time RV living. Yeah. See you later.